Break the internet. Yeah, There's paper magazine. You're on paper magazine. Check Instagram at La Pixidas. Check it out. Fabrizio is famous now. He looks like a samurai. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of La Pixie Dust. This week we're going to do a special traditional Italian recipe which is famous all over the world. It's melanzane alla parmigiana. Ooh. Not to be mistaken with the chicken parmigiana which we don't know what it is. It is not Italian, it doesn't belong in our country, it doesn't even exist. There's no such thing. Okay, let's roll over with the ingredients. We've got the aubergine sliced up. So this is melanzane, aubergine, eggplant, whichever way you want to call it. We've got the tomato passata, which we have cooked with basil, onions, garlic and extra virgin olive oil. Three mozzarellas, about 150 grams of parmesan cheese, and the ultimate ingredient is lots of love. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Fabrizio, can you explain uh, what we did exactly to prepare the aubergine, there's an actual technique to it. Absolutely, so we slice the aubergine about uh, 4 mm, 3 mm. We wash the aubergine in, uh, in a bowl of water so we remove all the black water. Usually yeah. You know, because uh, as you remember in Italian we like wash, nice fresh and clean. How you can see, I just slide down uh, the aubergine in this rinse pot and add a little bit of salt and then add more layer of aubergine on top and and after as a final result the aubergine will be very tender okay? very soft very the water soft. the salt makes the water come out so you want to put it in a rinser and let it sit in the sink absolutely and let the water drain for everyone out there who would like to live a happy, long life. And this is sponsored by the HNS. <laughs> no! <laughs> Etienne, touch wood or good no, soda. No, no, I don't know. Uh, touch the ferro, scratch your balls. That's yeah. what we do in Italy. If ever you want to send away bad luck, scratch your balls, even if you're a woman. Let's get going with the deep frying of the aubergine, melanzane, eggplant, whatever you call it, purple element vegetable that Mother Nature has given us. Fill up your pan with about an inch of rice oil and wait until it goes super hot. Alright, so this technique here with the wooden spoon will let you know the readiness of the oil. If there is bubbles around the wooden spoon when you put it in, it means that the olive oil is perfectly ready. As this turned golden brown, stick them on some kitchen towels or napkins or whatever you want to call them. I am not sure, but let the oil drain out of them. So, what's up with Kim Kardashian's flashing her buttocks Ooh. on paper magazine? I don't know who is that. What do you mean you don't know what it is? You're... Some other turkey. No, but did you Star? see? Did you see it? Let me just show you this. This is off the rails. Look at this. I mean, who has a butt that big? Do you think it's real or do you think she got some? <laughs> How this is related to what we are doing and uh, at the beginning you told me that I'm on internet. I just want you to go on Instagram at Lapixidas and check out my latest Instagram tweet which features an amazing person with an amazing behind. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, so now we've got all the ingredients ready, so let's get going with the procedure of mixing it all up. First thing off, we're going to put a little just a little bit of base of tomato sauce. 
<laughs> oh, you look like her. Yeah, yeah, great. Especially from your behind. <laughs> then we're going to put this. We're just laying them in rows, making sure that we cover all of the empty spaces everywhere. So if you have to overlap some of them, go ahead with that. And just create a whole layer, as if it was like a slice of lasagna pasta. Yeah, exactly. Very nice and tasty. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is just put some mozzarella chunks all over it. Very nice. Very nice. A tiny bit of parmesan. Yeah. And everywhere. Check it out there. All right, so let's add some more tomato sauce. Once you've got this layer, we repeat the whole procedure again. It smells delish. Delish. Absolutely. All right, then again, mozzarella. Okay, now we're going on to the final layer. So we start again for one more time. Tomato sauce, aubergine, Okay, so now for the final topping, we're gonna add some basil, a little bit more of tomato sauce. And now we just spread the last bits of mozzarella and the last bits of parmesan. So you see the ingredients we used are just perfect for a nice, nice melanzana alla parmigiana which will probably be okay for six people with seconds. Yeah. It's ready to be put in the oven at 350, 180, so at 350 Fahrenheit, 180 degrees for 20 minutes to half an hour. You can pick. All right, guys, so we've taken it out the oven and it looks delicious. As you can see, still sizzling. So it's gonna be hard for us to taste it right away because it's boiling hot. However, it smells absolutely delicious. Now, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you wanna try it, if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram channel at La Pixie Dust. Make sure you see this handsome boy as Kim Kardashian, the revolution. And remember, you are amazing. amazing. And so are we. Bye.